Welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the channel so today let's talk about this Nakuru deaths so there's been uh, shilling murders in Nakuru in the recent past and the residents are not um, happy about this because police haven't done much before we get into the story guys please make sure to hit that subscribe button make sure to turn on that post notification bell so you know every time I post let's get into the video there's been chilling murders in Nakuru. There has been mysterious murders involving women in Nakuru County in the last two weeks. This is happening in Mawanga Bahati sub-location. According to the residents, thugs attack them in broad daylight and their bodies sometimes burned to conceal evidence. Now on Friday, Ms. Diana Opicho, a 25-year-old daughter of Bishop Jotham Opicho of the All Saints Church was found murdered on Friday in their home by two men. According to uh, a family member, Justice Juma, the two suspects entered the homestead at 2 p.m. after posing as electrical technicians before they killed her. They did not steal anything. Nakuru North Sub-County Director Criminal Investigation Officer Wesley Langant said three cases so far have been reported and detectives have launched investigations. The detective said the victims were killed in a similar manner. He also reported that another woman identified as Miss Susan Momboy was murdered last week and the killers have not been arrested. She was found murdered under unclear circumstances. The 6 year old woman was murdered in front of her three-year-old son before the thugs set her house on fire. Mr. Evans Kagwema, a relative, said that a postmortem revealed that the victim was strangled to death using a rope. The family is demanding justice and asked the police to arrest her killers. Now, as of yesterday, uh, the DCR has reported arrests, so they are reporting that they have arrested up to 27 suspects in Nakuru in connection uh, not only with this death or these two deaths, but with different robberies in the Nakuru area in general. So again, I'm praying that justice is achieved for these families. This is just crazy. It's sad that you can just be in your home one morning and people walk in and kill you for no proper reason. I mean, if you're coming to steal, then steal everything and at least spare my life. So this is this is very, very sad. And we're seeing a lot of these incidences happening now, guys. So I'll just encourage you to stay safe as much as possible. Although, how do you even stay safe? You're supposed to be safe in your own home. So again, let's call for the government to do something about this insecurity. So once again, you're now up to date with this case. 